In this video, we'll be solving a triangle given three sides. So we're given uh, side A is 25.4, side B is 42.8, and side C is 59.3. Now the first thing we could do is to see if this is a right triangle. Um, I'll just take the two smaller sides. 59.3 is the largest side. So I'll take the two smaller sides and square those and add them together. So 25.4 squared plus 42.8 squared. Um, and then if I square root this total, if it's equal to 59.3, then I have a right triangle and I can use right triangle trig. So square root of 2477 and it's not so we're going to have to use some other method. Now for the law of sines to work I need at least one angle and one side that goes with that angle and I don't have that. So I'm going to have to use the law of cosines. And um, I found that it's best to solve for the largest angle, since we have to solve for at least one angle. Um, we'll use the law of cosines. To find the largest angle. And the reason that I'm doing the largest angle is because um, you don't have the ambiguity when you already know your largest angle. You don't have the uh, ambiguous case of the law of sines. So we won't have to worry about that. So um, our largest angle is going to be opposite the uh, largest side. So I'm going to use c squared equal a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b times the cosine of angle c. And this will be my variable now. So C is 59.3, that comes over here. And A is 25.4. B is 42.8. Minus 2 times 25.4 times 42.8 times the cosine of C. Now to avoid any rounding error, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this calculator ready. So to isolate my cosine C, I'll need to subtract this 25.4 squared from both sides, and I'll also need to subtract this 42.8 squared from both sides, and so this will cancel and this will cancel. So I have 59.3 squared minus 25.4 squared minus 42.8 squared and that's equal to this term negative 2 times 25.4 times 42.8 cosine C. 
and then um, to get cosine c by itself, I'm going to divide both sines by the product of these three factors. So negative 2, 0 0.4, 42.5. And over here as well. So these factors cancel. And I have uh, cosine C on the right side. And then I'm ready to put this in my calculator. Make sure we're in degrees. And that won't uh, affect anything until I do my uh, inverse cosine. But all right, so I have a kind of a big fraction here. I'm going to have to open my numerator, put parentheses around it, and then I have. 59.3 squared minus 25.4 squared minus 42.8 squared. Now close my numerator and divide by and then open my denominator. And I have in my denominator negative 2 times 25.4 times 42.8. Close my denominator and hit equal. So my cosine is a negative 0 0.4781. Now I'm writing uh, 0.4781, but I'm going to leave it in my calculator. All right now to isolate C, I want to inverse cosine. Both sides. So my that's going to be when I hit the ANS key, the answer key, that'll be my previous answer. So I want um, shift cosine answer. And it looks like 118.56 degrees. Now I can use my law of sines to go from here. Uh, side C was 59.3. So I have side C is to the sine of 118.56 as side A which was 25.4 is to the sine of angle A. We can do our cross products here. We have 59.3 times the sine of angle A equals 25.4 times the sine of 118.56. Divide both sides by 59.3. And sine of A Right, 
since I have my angle showing, I'm going to go ahead and take the sign of that. And multiply it then by 25.4. And then divide by 59.3. So I have the sine of angle A is 0.3762. So we want to inverse sine both sides. And sign answer gives us 22.10. And then I can add these two together and subtract from 180 to get my third angle. So 118.56 plus 22.10 and then 180 subtract that sum and Looks like angle B is about 39.34.